Hey everybody, uh, chip hunter, potato chip hunter, snack hunter, no it doesn't sound right does it, soda hunter here, I have uh, some something a little different, but I can still call myself soda hunter because I'm drinking Coke Mexico, and see these are about as uh, common as dirt now, uh, they used to be kind of uncommon, but now you can find them just about anywhere, Mexican Coke made with real sugar, so if you get a Coke, try one of these instead of the plastic bottles uh, but that's what I'm gonna be washing this stuff down with what I have now is actually uh, snacks I came across a um, pilot in Rayville Louisiana that had the new summer flavors for Lay's I assume they're summer they're limited time anyway I'm sure they are I can't imagine these sticking around but some of the other ones stuck around so you never know maybe they will I'm gonna show you what I have now in case you haven't already seen the title of this video Okay, first I have a mango salsa potato chip. Then I have a bacon mac and cheese, which is hamburger helper. All Southerners know what hamburger helper is. So there you go. Then I have a wasabi and ginger. That's, I'm scared of that one. It's wasabi, ginger, kettle cook. So that one's gonna be interesting. And then I have the uh, one that actually the most people kind of talk about. Um, actually, reading the back here, it says try all four and vote. So I'm supposed to vote for my favorite flavor. Will this be it? Cappuccino. Ah, does that do anything for you? No? Yes? It's kind of a drink. Does that count? Soda Hunter? No? Okay. But anyway, I'm going to work my way up to that one. That's going to be next to last. I'm going to start off with an easy one. Hamburger Helper. Not brand name Hamburger Helper, but bacon mac and cheese. And uh, we all know what this is supposed to taste like. It's going to be pretty good. Obviously, you, how can you go wrong? It's macaroni, so it's cheese. And you have your bacon with the cheese, and it should taste pretty good, right? Let's see. Let's see here. What's it smell like? I smell the bacon in it. I don't really smell too much of a uh, bacon mac and cheese smell, but oh well. Let's get a good one here. There's your chip. Just uh, looks normal. Actually has a light tint to it, kind of like a barbecue does. But nothing. It tastes like barbecue. That's disappointing. I don't hardly taste any bacon in that at all. Maybe a little bit, but that tastes like a barbecue chip. Kinda. Barbecue-ish bacon, but it's really light flavored. It's almost plain. That's, no, disappointing. If you're gonna have a specially favorable flavor like that, you gotta make it count go all out with it. What's going on with that? You're not getting my vote, bacon, mac, and cheese. Next up, mango salsa. I like mango salsa. I wonder if this is spicy. I wonder a lot of things about this, actually. Is it sweet? Let's, let's find out. Oh, these are ruffled. I didn't even pay attention. These are actually ruffled. That, oh, I smell some sweet in that. That's interesting smelling. There's your ruffled mango salsa. You got some peppery flakes of something on there. I'm sorry, the light's kind of messing with me with the shirt in the background. Buy that shirt, by the way. Um, every dollar or so spent on that shirt goes towards the you know the little pool here to help bring more videos. But shameless plug. Anyway, here we go. See some peppery flakes in there. It looks kind of light flavored though. I smell the sweet in it for sure. So let's see. Wow. Okay. I'm trying to see if there's a bite to it. Let me get one more. It's more sweet than anything else. I definitely taste some mango in it. That's a good palate cleanser right there. 
I definitely taste mango. This so far is my favorite. The salsa part of it, not so much. Um, it's hard to distinguish. The mango actually stays around a little bit after the fact. That's pretty good. It's uh, sweet, but on the um, savory Mexican style sweet, you know, not, not nothing that's like dessert or anything. That one's pretty good. That's my favorite so far, the mango salsa. Gotta fly through them. Doing four video here. All right. This one, I'm worried about. Because I do get sushi from time to time. Uh, it's usually made fresh at like a fresh market or a Publix or a Rouse's or something like that when I get it. And uh, they tend to butt them up against this little dab of wasabi. And they separate it with paper, but it doesn't matter. The wasabi seeps through the paper, and the ones on the end are really spicy from the wasabi. I do not like wasabi. <laughs> that is wasabi. And ginger. Now, there is another place we go to that uh, has a ginger salad. So, uh, a little sweet and spicy? Or is the ginger going to have a burn? Okay. I don't smell too much different from a normal, normal potato chip. Maybe a hint of something else. The smell is familiar, but I'm not placing it. I'm not placing that smell, but it's familiar. It's not wasabi and it's not ginger. Wow, it's so familiar. If anybody picks up a pack of these and you smell it and you can place that smell, let me know because I can't place it at all. I've got a bad memory. All right, here's your chip. Looks just like the other ones. It is thin and crispy. Well, it's supposed to be kettle cooked, so it's going to be a little crunchier. All right, so let's see. That's wasabi. <laughs> oh, spit all the food while I'm talking to you. bearing for it. I'm bearing down. No spice. I mean wasabi has a flavor? I didn't know that. I can't concentrate on the flavor of wasabi because my mouth's on fire. There is no spice to that whatsoever. That doesn't taste that bad. Considering, the, you know, I don't like the spice too much, so when something tastes like wasabi and it doesn't have that spice, that's not bad. It's hard to pick out the ginger in it. Maybe that's why why it doesn't have that spice to it. Maybe some sweet off the ginger is kind of, uh, kind of uh, leveling it out. I don't really feel anything. Nothing on the roof of my mouth and in the back of my throat. I don't feel anything as far as spice. Just the, the actual flavor of the wasabi. Uh, light, light ginger, probably not. You're probably not gonna pick out the ginger in it. But that's pretty good. So far, uh, two of them are a hit, one's a miss. A little Mexican Coke, to clear the palate. So, bacon, mac and cheese, no. Mango salsa, way up. Wasabi and ginger. It's up, but it's not quite as high as a mango salsa. Now, there you go. Cappuccino. Thin and crispy, I'm sure. I'm just looking at the chip on the package. It, <laughs> you're brown and everything. Whoa, okay. Immediately, the whiff of uh, coffee hits you in the face. That's insane. <laughs> wow. It's like you took a potato chip and you could dusted it with coffee dust, ground coffee beans. That smells so good. Wow. That is insane. And there's your chip, your brown uh, cappuccino potato chip. It's amazing what this smells like. It, it, it should get my vote just for the smell alone, regardless of how it tastes here. So let's see. That's so disappointing. It's there, but it's so light, you can barely taste it. 
it's like a plain potato chip. The minute it hits your mouth, any cappuccino taste and smell you have goes completely away. You had a chance with these to make something crazy. They smell amazing. Look at, I mean, I should have done this with the other ones, but look at this. They're all brown and it smells amazing in there. It smells like a fresh cup of coffee. It's crazy. The minute you put a chip in your mouth, it all goes away and it's a plain potato chip. That is so disappointing. This is the worst one of the bunch to me because there's no flavor to these. If you get a flavor, it's a fraction of a flavor. Nothing like it smells. I'll just sit, I'll just keep the bag and smell it. Because that's a great smell. I love that smell. So that's the worst one. And not because cappuccino doesn't make a good potato chip, but because there's no flavor. That's so disappointing. Lays, you did so good with the chicken and waffles and the cheesy bread and stuff like that. The garlic cheesy bread potato chips. You did so good with those. What the heck happened with this one? That's a shame. So if you want to rank them for me. Last place. And not because it tastes bad, because it doesn't have a taste. Here's the next one. Next to last. Because it's underwhelming. I mean, you get a little bit of a hint of bacon and stuff like that, but it mostly tastes like a barbecue potato chip. And that's underwhelming when it's supposed to be bacon, mac, and cheese. Here's the next one. Because I'm pleasantly surprised it didn't burn my mouth off. And it actually has the flavor of wasabi in it. So, that was pretty good. I dug that one. This is my favorite right here. The mango salsa, and I'm gonna have to save some for my wife, I know. There's ruffled potato chips in there. I know she's gonna wanna try these. Uh, she might not like them because she doesn't dig mango too much, but you know, whatever. Uh, the flavors are usually good with her, but not the, the actual like textures and stuff like that. She doesn't do seeds and stuff either. But there's your chips. Mike, give me all your personal information out on YouTube, huh? <laughs> So there's your ruffled potato chips, and there's your winner in my book. I'm going to vote. And there it is right there. There's where you vote. Let's see if you can read that without uh, the glare. There you go. So that's what you do. Do us a flavor.com, and you vote on your favorite. There's your winner. I promise you. That's going to be the one that wins. So, what do you think about that? Chip Hunter. Soda Hunter. Whatever. I'm Cabin and Alba Coke, Mexico. All right. So if you like this video, follow me on Twitter at Soda underscore Hunter. Facebook.com slash Soda Hunter Kevin. Subscribe to the channel. Like the video. Comment. Have you picked up one of those yet? If you have, not the shirt. If you pick up a shirt. What the heck? But if you uh, picked up one of the chips yet, let me know how you how you liked one. Uh, how you liked any of them. Which is your favorite flavor? And uh, until next time, happy hunting.